morning. It is launch day officially and I thought I would vlog. It's kind of like a tradition. I've had my social media management accelerator. Let me see if I can pull this up actually. Better, I can stand and not hunch over. Okay, it is launch day. I have had my social media management accelerator program on pre-sale. So just the people on the wait list have had access to purchase. We are a quarter of the way full already just from the wait list, which is exciting. But today is the day that I officially launch it to the world. <laughs> so I'm going to do a webinar tonight. So I thought I would show you what kind of my routine is for those webinars because I really do feel like it's like an energetic exchange. I know it's like a little bit woo woo, but you know, I gotta be in the right headspace to do that kind of thing. When I am not, they don't go well. When I am, they usually go well. So I'm starting off by a really hearty breakfast or pretty hearty for me. I usually don't eat a lot for breakfast, but I'm having some um, cashew yogurt, granola and blueberries. So we've got a little bit of protein there, some carbs and some fruit. And then I'm also making some vegan bacon and vegan eggs, which might be burning a little for a little bit more protein and fat. My webinar is not till 5 p.m. So I wanted to start the day a little bit later. It's like 1030 right now. I, I woke up, went out and got a real coffee. And I also tried to drop off my disposable camera, but apparently nowhere does photo processing in store anymore. So if you guys know of anywhere, please comment down below. Otherwise, I'm going to have to send it out somewhere. So if you if you have a recommendation for that too, let me know. Um, I'm kind of sad. I was like excited to have my little disposable camera memories and I can't get them off the camera. All right. I've got a disco ball coming out of my head. It's a little bit of a weird angle, but we are going to get started. So here's the thing. When I do a webinar that's later in the day, I have this thing. I don't know if you all can relate, but I cannot, I need my makeup to be fresh. Like I need my makeup and all that to be super fresh. So I'm not going to get ready for a while. It's about 11 AM right now. I'm going to do some of the computer work that I need to get done. And then I'll probably get ready around two or something, maybe after lunch, uh, just so I can feel like really, really put together. What I'm going to do right now is go through and look at who has registered for the webinar. I got my slides already. I think they're pretty much good to go, but I'm gonna run through those again in a bit. But first I wanna go look at how many registrations I have. Let's see, okay, so we've got about 500 people coming. Yay, which is exciting. That's about the number I like to shoot for. I started teasing this webinar, or not teasing, but promoting this webinar weeks ago, actually, in a few of my podcasts. I don't even know when I started it, but probably two or three weeks ago, I was like, hey, I'm going to have a free class, going to have free class. So it's kind of it's taken a little bit of time to build up that amount of registrants. So keep that in mind if you're going to, you know, recreate this, that if I just announced this today, I wouldn't get 500 people coming. And then also keeping in mind that on the live call, usually only about a quarter of those people end up tuning in live. Now, what I was gonna do is I was going to download, they get an automatic email from Webinar Jam, but I like to send my own. That's just like a little bit prettier. That's a little bit more customized, gives a little bit more details on what the class is gonna be about. today because first of all this shirt I think is like too big in the shoulders <laughs> so it keeps falling off but I'm annoying myself because I was supposed to have a very nice chill day webinar day get in get zen get in the zone and I just had an urge to film and to change what I was going to do for Friday's podcast so I am going to film a video <laughs> before my webinar. I think it'll be good though, cause it'll kind of help warm me up. Sometimes when I, you know, if my energy is super low and I just get on the call, you know, like I explained, energy is really important. So let me explain to you what I was gonna do for the launch. I was going to just do an audio only podcast and just dedicate it to SMMA, talking about the program. And then on my YouTube, I was gonna go live. But as I was looking through my webinar slides one final time, I realized like if I go live on YouTube, 
and talk about SMMA, I'm just going to be basically redoing this webinar. So I have been wanting to do a more in-depth video about social media management. I have a really high ranking video has like 600 K views about that. And I want to beat it. I don't know if I can anymore, but I hope I can with new information. That's a very old video. So I'm basically going to redo that video today. It's already out for you all. So you could watch that if you want, but I just think it's going to be a better, a better option and a better way to leave my podcast because I think I'm going to take a little break from freelance Friday after this. Um, don't mind my shirt. Seriously. It's doing like, I don't know. You have to like these kinds of shirts. You really have to have like a, if you know, you know. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a break from the podcast, actually. Just a little break because I am speaking at Social Media Marketing World soon. So I need to really hunker down, finish up my slides for that, practice, get in a good space for that. And then after that, I am actually... Here's the tea. I haven't said this yet. I think I'm going to launch a new podcast, a second podcast. Freelance Friday isn't going to be going anywhere, but I just think I need like a couple of weeks, maybe a month max to take it chill so I can launch this new podcast, do the interviews. It's going to be an interview show. And also I have a big project that I'm working on a big production that's going to be starting next week. So, um, I just need, a, I need a little break. So I feel like if I film a more highly produced podcast, I'll feel better about saying, Hey, this is the last podcast for a while. I think I'm still going to do audio podcasts. I think I might take a little break from, from the YouTube, which is a little scary. Okay, I did the thing, recorded the video. It's 3.36, my call's at five. I haven't eaten lunch yet. But more, most importantly, I really wanna get outside because it's very sunny and I need to be zen. This is actually the launch that I felt the most zen and chill about. What is going on here? Sure, um, that I felt the most chill about. You know, I haven't been constantly, in the past, it's like been I've launched on all nighters and things like that, and I just feel good. Uh, so I'm taking that as a sign, and I want to keep that same energy. So I'm gonna go for a walk because that's how I get chill. So let's do that, and hopefully I'll have time to shove a salad in my mouth or something like that before 5 p.m. right on my bottom. That would have been fun. Um, okay, I've got 40 minutes before it's time to get on the call. So I'm going to test out my camera right now, make sure it is in a good place. I gotta figure out the lighting situation right now. I have my curtains like blackout. That's how I've been recording my YouTube videos. The lighting is just really too harsh in here. I love the bright lighting for working. You know, it's really energizing, but for recording, I pretty much have to do blackout. So I gotta figure out what that means for my webcam because also my webcam really annoys me. Like I have the Logitech Brio and I really like it. The picture is very, very clear and like it's done amazing things. Like when everything works, it looks amazing. The problem is a lot of times it doesn't work. <laughs> It like, I don't even know how to, like it's way oversaturated a lot of times or not oversaturated, overexposed. So it will be so bright. It's like unreal. And then going in to manually edit the settings doesn't really help. 
and it definitely is depends on what I'm wearing I notice it probably won't show up very well like on this vlog camera but that's oversat or overexposed. I'm like so bright. I would tell you all of the things, all the like just computer work that I've been doing, but I don't know how exciting that or interesting that is for you. But basically I did a bunch of Zapier things to make sure that once people purchase on the webinar, they get put into an email list and blah, 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 blah. It's like this whole thing, so. That's pretty much what I spent a lot of today doing and then just scheduling the emails. If you ever wanna see more in depth, like let me know, let me know. Cause I will do that, but I just feel like that's the back end stuff is kind of boring for people to see. Hello, hello everyone. Happy, I don't even know what day it is today. Hope y'all are doing well. Thank you so much for waiting. I uh, hope everyone is doing well. I see that chat is pretty active already. We've got Celeste here. We've got James, Alex, Brandy. If you want to give a little shout out, let me know where you are tuning in from today. It's one of my favorite parts of these calls. I just love hearing where everybody is at. My face looks so shiny. I literally cannot. <laughs> anyway, class is over. My voice, my voice is donezo. It hurts. Uh, that was a long call. It went okay. The last webinar I did for the early birds had like a 60% conversion rate, which was wild. I obviously was not expecting that. Um, this one was okay. Um, we got some new students, so that's exciting. But one of the things with doing free webinars that are positioned as like a free class is I end up at just getting people who just want questions answered, which is totally fine. I'm happy to do it. I think that is a part of a part of like doing this, you know, uh, you have to be able to give that information and, and show that you're credible and, and genuinely help people. Like I genuinely love helping people, obviously, but it usually doesn't result in as many conversions because a lot of people just kind of want to hang out and ask questions, which is fine. I'm so grateful to everybody for giving me the time of day, but I'm tired. <laughs> I feel overworked for sure. So just sharing that as a little tip to you that one thing that worked really well for me and I think I'm going to schedule one for next week is I did an open house. I sent it out to the wait list and said if you are seriously considering SMMA come to this and I skipped the class like I didn't teach. I just went into this is what the offer is. Let me answer your questions specifically about the offer and that converted so, so well. So I think I'm gonna do another one of those. Actually, you know what? Maybe if any of you are watching and you wanna come, hopefully I'll have that put together and be able to link it down below. But yeah, it was good. It went really well. I feel very calm. Like I said, this launch does not feel chaotic anymore. The only negative thing that happened is I did wanna reuse this recording to be able to send out and I wasn't happy with it. Um, the lighting changed very intensely halfway through. So at the end, I was literally sitting in the dark. I had to turn this lamp on, but it was like, I was sitting in the dark and then I am so hungry that I hiccuped. I have never hiccuped on a live. Oh my gosh, sorry, I just had a hiccup. Oh my gosh, sorry, I just had a hiccup. Is it a big deal? Is it something to be embarrassed about? No, like hiccups happen, especially when you haven't eaten enough. Um, for the day, but I don't think I want to send that out. So that's the only negative. So I'll probably re-record this um, or redo this webinar another time when and schedule it for like the daytime so the lighting doesn't change. But for now, I need to eat food. I think I'm gonna make a veggie burger. Norris is streaming, so I'll do some editing and then we'll watch some Love Island because I need like a brain break after today. Brain breaks are good. absolutely nuts. I just woke up from a very long nap and then shoved a toasted 
sunflower butter and jelly sandwich into my mouth so I probably have crumbs all over but I need to end this vlog it was a fun one I am it's Sunday actually it's been several days launch is still going well uh, be sure to join the open house if you are one of those folks who are considering SMMA it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, this week though coming up here I have a really big production going on in my home and so today I am well it's like tonight I, I I just relaxed. I It had been so long since I had a true day to just do nothing, so I took advantage of that. But this evening, I'm gonna do a little bit of tidying up in here. As you can see, there's like cords, there's stuff kind of all over my office, and just change the date on that. Oh, I'm a day ahead, hold on. It really bothers me when I go back and look at my vlog clips and the date's wrong on that thing. But anyway, I've got a pretty big production kicking off tomorrow. I hate it when I, when this happens, but I can't tell you exactly what it is, but I can tell you that I'm doing a course for a company. I'm producing a course, starring in a course, doing all the things for a course, and there is gonna be one other person on site from the company that I'm doing it for here, and then Norris is also helping me with camera work. So it's gonna be kind of a big thing. And so yeah, I need to tidy up, need to prepare for that. I might run to the store and grab like some water bottles and stuff just when there's like strangers in my home. I find it's more convenient to just have stuff like that on hand. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna be working on. And it's just kind of got me thinking. I posted on Instagram stories about this a little bit. Um, a lot of y'all know the story that in 2020, I was so close to signing a lease for an office space, a studio space. And what I wanted to do with the studio space was use it to be able to work with clients in person. At that time I was doing a lot of coaching and a lot of people needed to build personal brands, but they were afraid of cameras, they're afraid of, you know, whatever, or just too busy. And I thought it'd be cool to have a space for them to come in. I could shoot, you know, headshots for them. I could help them create courses. I could help them launch their YouTube channel, whatever. And also just for me to have a place when stuff like this, like when I big book bigger projects like this, I could be doing that not in my personal home. It just makes me feel a little uncom uncomfortable. Obviously this person, you know, is wonderful, I'm sure, and all of that, but you know, that was three years ago, which when I said it on my Instagram stories the other day, I was like, wait, was that three years ago? Because I didn't end up signing, thank goodness. Something in my gut was just like, it's not the right time, it's not the right time, don't do it. It wasn't that it was a bad idea. It was just, obviously, the world was about to shut down, and thank goodness I listened to my intuition and didn't do it. Well, fast forward, we're here. It's just, you know, I think those things that's, that stick in your mind for some reason that you can't get rid of, like, listen to those, like, lean into those a little bit. I'm not saying 100% this is what I'm gonna do, and, you know, this is absolutely, like, a must-have to make me a legitimate business owner. It's not that at all, but I'm keeping my ears and eyes open to things. I actually just met with somebody, a friend of mine, who has, is a content creator in the city, and he's also kind of in that same wavelength right now. So we're, you know, exploring ideas of doing something together. I'm also exploring ideas of doing something on my own. This just may be a journey that I take you along for. That's all I'm saying. It might not happen for another year. It might not happen at all. It might, I may be going to see places tomorrow. I don't know. But I just wanted to let you know that, yeah, that's something that I'm thinking about and I have just felt this intense call as well over the past three years of the world being what it was. I just am so craving like peace. I love being on camera. I'm gonna be on YouTube until I'm God willing 90 years old, I swear. But the pressure to create it at a certain level is really getting to me. I was watching some of my old videos from even just a year ago or two years ago and I just felt so much freer and it's, it's because I was less successful. And it's like, it's that double-edged sword of, I don't wanna not be grateful for having people watch my stuff, but also when nobody's watching, it's really easy to just, I'm gonna put anything up. Any vlog that goes up is, is better than nothing. And now I feel like I'm constantly like competing with myself. And then especially when there's brands involved, I feel like I have to perform at a certain level. And it's just a lot of pressure. And I love producing. And I've done a lot of high production, um, highly produced, you know, stuff over the past couple of years. And I'm like, Th these people, these folks have the same exact background as me, went to this school for the same thing as I did, have the same amount of experience as I do. And they're being taken seriously as a producer and I'm being labeled an influencer. 
And there's nothing wrong with being an influencer or content creator. The point is I want to do more production work. I want to do more stuff behind the camera over these next few years, not quitting YouTube, not creating courses, not doing any of that stuff, but I want to help other people do that. And I think having a studio space would enable me to work with some people who are local business owners or even some of you, if you wanted to fly out and come shoot in my, sh my studio for a week, you know? Um, so that's just kind of where my head's going. Could be a wild idea that doesn't take off, but I just wanted to let you know that's kind of something on my mind. And with that, it's time to clean up this studio, which I do very much love for myself and will probably always, as long as we live here, be shooting in here because I'm obsessed with it. I might throw a little time lapse or something if you're into cleaning organization, but otherwise I just want to end the vlog and say thank you so much for watching. I miss vlogging. Every time I do a vlog, I realize I miss vlogging. I'm gonna see if I can vlog next week or this this week of this production, but like I said, it's a little, so it may not come out for a while. We'll see, but either way, I will talk to you soon um, in a video, a vlog. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here. If you're new, I don't know why you would have watched the end because that was a big ramble. Thank you if you're an OG. I appreciate y'all so much more than you know, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.